Hey guys, welcome back. Scotty's Backyard Barbecue. Today we're going to on Master Built 560. We are going to do this. You see that? It is a seven bone. Let me pick that up for you. Seven bone. Can I focus on this thing? Oh, look at that. Pork roast. Alright. We get started. I'll wash my hands. We're going to rub this down and trim it. We're going to trim a little bit off of the silver skin. Rub it down with some Weber barbecue rub. And we're going to put it back out on the Master Bill 560. Hang on, folks. We'll be right back. I'm washing these hands. Get it all trimmed up. Now, in the back here, you want to check. Check back here for any of these little rib. But they cut this off the spine. So you want to watch that and get some of them out of there. There you go. That, that's not good eating. Alright. Feels pretty good. Get rid of the fat here. Wash my hands again. We're gonna, for a binder today, I'm using this LAM liquid smoke. You can use anything, pork. Yeah. Use mustard, wish I your sauce, I don't care. Today we're gonna use some liquid smoke. Put that on there. This will help the old rub stick, folks. There we go. Beautiful. Wash the hands again. And rub her down with some Weber barbecue rub. Take her up good. Ah, you can smell it now. Smoky. Got a nice smoke flavor already, folks. Get the sides here. Shake it up. Rub this baby down. Ah, why not? Let's get the bones. Big piece of meat. Take a lot of rub. Alright, right, we'll go out. It's all rubbed down. I'll go out and fire up to 560. We use some Applewood Kings for today. And we'll get it up to about 270. And let it roll for a couple hours. Alright, be right back. I'll go out and fire that grill up. Alright, guys, while we're waiting for this grill to heat up, the old pit, I installed a new temperature gauge in the door. I notice it goes to 300 only. That's because this grill's never going to be over 275. Bought this for low and slow only. Don't want to sear anything. I will use some of my other grills, like this thing. I can make a good steak on that. And I got the old kettle. That's for steaks, burgers. And it needs to be hot and fast. This thing is low and slow. Hey Tommy, how you doing? Alright. We're gonna try to leave the camera on this thing for a while. Watch the temperature. We'll be right back, folks. Get this a few minutes to get going. Alright. Get a little smoke there. Be almost time to 
Shut her up here. Hey, you want that smoke on your meat? That's a dirty smoke. There, we're gonna shut her down, get it going, get it up to temp, get a nice clean smoke. Don't you hate that when people post pictures of the lift and they lit off their smoker and a bunch of dirty smoke coming out and they're like, oh, look at this, that was smoky. I'm like, Jesus. I hate that. You want a nice clean smoke, people. Nice bluish, almost invisible smoke. You put your meat in that kind of smoke, you ruined it. Oh, look at that, baby. Look at that, folks. Wow. You can smell it all the way over here, that liquid smoke and that rub. It's already got a nice smoky flavor to it. Mm -hmm. Hey folks, we're gonna go to 275. We had an ice storm come through last night, so it's kind of cold out right now. It's about 31 degrees. Oh uh, yeah. See how fast this gets up. Look at that, folks. You climbed right up when I went inside. I stuffed the back up with some taters. Couldn't find my foil. Let me turn that down. All right, the wind is brutal out here. <laughs> On it at 275. Hey, they didn't go over 300 though, which is good. Ah, she's dropping back down. Fam, stop. I got the pit set now at 275. Hey, these things are brutal in the wind. First time I use it on a windy day. to me let's take her off bring her inside let it rest took almost three hours to get it up there about 138 145 yeah, that beauty folks oh yeah try not to tip it over here for you been resting for about 10 15 minutes let's cut this baby open see how we did oh yeah Rubbed it down with some Weber. Remember, this is good stuff. If you ever try it, go get some. Pretty good. We use liquid smoke for a binder. Yeah. Do a bone. See what the bone going. Let's go right here in the middle, folks. Look at the juice coming off of that, folks. Can you see that? Dripping all over my chair, folks. Whoa. This is juicy. Can you see that, folks? Look at that. Simple little 560. Look at that, folks. Wow. That is some juicy stuff. Man, that's juicy. Get towel here. Yeah, see, I don't want to squeeze all the juice out of her. Look at that, folks. Wow. Just cut off a piece. See how we did.
succulent wow master bill 560 running out of there mm. wow i highly recommend the weber rub that's really on point mm. Get a little bark. Get a little bark right there. Try that. Hey Molly, are you watching? Bark for me if you're watching. You want this, Molly? Mmm. Wow. Well, thanks for watching this short video on the old seven bone pork roast. Loin roast on the old Master Bill 560. Look at that. Juice. Tell me that thing is wet. Ain't gonna dry out no pork on that thing. Mm mm mm. Alright. Once again, folks, thanks for watching another episode of Scotty's Backyard Barbecue.